Hey, what's up guys, Rep here. So today we're gonna take some time and talk about Pal World, or better known as Pokemon with Guns. Now this recently released survival game has been all of the rage, everyone's talking about this. It is an amalgamation taking many different elements from many different franchises, and to the surprise of many, it actually turns out to be pretty entertaining. A lot of people are really enjoying this game, and the proof is in the numbers. Okay, earlier today, Pal World achieved the highest concurrent player count of any paid game in Steam history with a concurrent player count of over 1 million. Obviously a big deal. In fact, this game has sold over 4 million copies in only about 3 days. This game is one of those chosen titles that seemingly popped up out of nowhere. It became the trend where everyone is playing it, everyone is streaming it, and a lot of people are, in fact, enjoying it. A lot of people are saying it's not just a Pokemon knockoff, it's an upgrade. But of course, with a lot of recent attention on a game blowing up, often comes controversy, and that's what we have today. So there's a lot of things being launched at this game. A lot of people are accusing Pal World of straight up plagiarizing titles like Pokemon, and that they might face a lawsuit from Nintendo, but they're also accusing Pal World of using generative AI tools for its content. Now, those are some serious accusations, but they are nowhere near as serious as what we're going to look at now. And that's an accusation of animal cruelty. Yes, this is a real article, ladies and gentlemen. This is an unhinged response to the content featured in Pal World. Now, we're going to look at this article for two reasons. Number one, it's worth some laughs. And number two, it serves as a nice little format for all of the things that people are currently discussing in regards to Pal World. So let's start off with the intro to this article and get the, the laughs out of the way. It says, Pal World could be a delight if it wasn't so invested in being awful. Shockingly, animal cruelty doesn't make for a fulfilling experience. What's their next article going to be? GTA was going to be a delight if it wasn't for the crimes being committed within the game. But yeah, that's their intro. Let's read some of the paragraphs here. It says, let me put it to this way. Watching that first Pal World trailer from 2021 was like seeing a picture of Bugs Bunny smoking weed and half ironically thinking it's sick. Actually playing Pal World is like having to hang out for hours with someone who's made Bugs Bunny smoking weed their whole deal. It's over committing to the bit, except the bit in this case is, well, abusive labor conditions and animal cruelty and not only is the bit bad it's actively making the rest of the game worse now from seeing all the gameplay uh it's not all reduced down to animal cruelty and things like that and i will remind this person these characters these creatures are not real in fact if you want to get more concerned you can apparently according to some players you can actually enslave other humans in the game. So, you know, worry about that before you start worrying about the, uh, the pals in the game. But I think this claim that this game is completely unenjoyable is countered by the level of enthusiasm that's being publicly shown for this game. I mean, the view count and the player count speaks for itself. But also, even people who are having concerns about other elements like the plagiarism concerns and things like that, a lot of them can still admit it's an interesting game. It's definitely something that is different, something that a lot of people have been looking for with a Pokemon-style game. But going on in their article here, they hit kind of the, the main concern that people are launching. So it says, first, the big question, is Pal World just Pokemon with guns? It's certainly doing its best to look the part. If I open up my Pokedex, Pal deck, and scrolling through the Pals I've captured in Pokeballs, Pal Spheres, I'm mostly left impressed by the hubris of Pal World's Japanese developer imitating the Pokemon style so closely when it's in the center of Nintendo's lawsuit kill radius. So there's those concerns about plagiarism as well as a lawsuit from Nintendo. And this is something we're seeing raised a lot on Twitter currently where people are doing side-by-side -side comparisons of the characters from Pokemon and Pal World. Now, before I get into more discussion here, subjectively, my opinion, I think this Pal World version is an upgrade. That's just me. But here's the thing. People are saying that this is something that is a carbon copy, a complete carbon copy. And people are saying this is an act of plagiarism and they're stealing from uh, Pokemon. Now, let's ask a few questions. Is this character 
heavily referenced from Pokemon? Yes. Is this character model probably pretty lazy? Yes. Is it a carbon copy? No. Is it stolen? No. And that's something that needs to be actually proven before someone like Nintendo is going to go off and try to take this game down and sue Pal World and its developers. And we've actually seen some lawyers give their opinions on this. So let's see what they had to say. Anyone can sue anyone for any reason, so I can't tell you what Nintendo will or won't do about Pal World. I can tell you, however, that they'd have a tough time winning any infringement claim that isn't arguing a direct design copy. They go on to say, the game itself is a Minecraft, Zelda, Monster Hunter mashup, unlike anything Pokemon has put forth, so there's no winning there. The PAL designs have elements that are similar to Pokemon, but even though they fly a bit close to the sun, for my taste, that's a really hard case to win. Nintendo would be better served seeing what elements of the game might fit its own brand. And I think that last part is something that should be the main takeaway for Nintendo and Game Freak to look at this situation and see what players are liking with Pal World. And those things probably reflect what's lacking for their, their own titles. But going off of what's said here, the game itself is definitely something that is different. When you think about Pal World, you're not just thinking about Pokemon, you're thinking about Pokemon with what? Pokemon with guns. A violent theme. The entire game is circling around violent themes. That is something that is not found in Game Freak Pokemon titles. Violence is something that really separates it, just like the other elements incorporated for other games like this that are listed that are making Pal World more diverse in terms of its content and something that's more complex than just a Pokemon carbon copy. And down here, talking about the PAL designs, we already talked about the fact that they are not complete ripoffs, 100% stolen, that they have some variation to them, and that they are just heavily referenced. And moving on, a lot of people began to talk about the idea of Nintendo getting involved, and also these AI concerns, but we'll get into that next. Uh, if Nintendo gets involved, Here's the thing, a lot of people have cited that Nintendo has been very aggressive in taking down a lot of fan games based on their IP, but that's different than what's going on with Pal World. Those fan-made games are essentially trying to be Pokemon 2.0. Their identity is very heavily associated with everything that Pokemon is supposed to be. Pal World is going way beyond just that. You're just seeing the designs of these similar looking Pals or Pokemon, whatever you want to call them, but there's much more to it. Now, this AI concern is something that I think is really a topic that needs to be explored a lot more before people are making definitive claims. Now, I'm not saying that it might not turn out that there's AI components of Pal World, but the proof that currently exists is very flimsy at best. I've seen a lot of threads citing the evidence that there's AI in this game, and I think this particular tweet and screenshot it, sh it just shows how lacking a lot of these pieces of evidence are. Their evidence isn't, oh, here's a piece of AI in the game. Their evidence is that the developers of Pal World are familiar with and seem enthusiastic about AI and its possibilities. I mean, here's an example people are actually using as evidence where one of the developers uses these screenshots to say, wow, some of these Pokemon are indistinguishable from AI counterparts. And all they're doing here, this isn't their own creation. They are citing something that was done by a BuzzFeed engineer. This wasn't even their own creation. This was just something that someone else created. And they were commenting saying, wow, the AI is tough to tell between their designs and the actual Pokemon. Now, moving forward, why do a lot of people have no issue with even the possibility of AI being there or a concern of it? Well, a lot of people just don't feel bad for Nintendo because they're angry at Game Freak and the lack of high quality content in games that they expect out of a company like that. It has been a very bad PR time for Game Freak for many years because people have felt very underwhelmed by their Pokemon releases and people just don't feel sorry for Nintendo and Game Freak. They, just, they actually are reveling in the fact that a game is using aspects of their own franchise and pushing way beyond any expectations that people had. 
and they just don't feel sorry. And I'm going to hit you guys with the, the cold splash of water here. I'm just going to be honest. I think a lot of players, even if you told them that there was AI components of Pal World, I don't think a lot of players would care. Now, don't kill the messenger. Don't get mad at me. You're completely valid in being concerned or offended by something like that. If you think AI exists in that game is a deal breaker, good for you. I understand. But I think a lot of players don't care. If they're having a fun time playing a game, they will look beyond things like that. Again, if you're upset about that, don't get mad at me. Get mad at the people who will continue playing games after making discoveries like that. That's just the honest truth. And a lot of players who are currently enjoying Pal World, they're not on places like Twitter. They don't probably have any interest in AI. They have no idea what's going on. That's just the reality of the situation. And again, don't kill the messenger. I'm just saying these are things to pay attention to. But the article would go on, actually criticizing some aspects of the gameplay, further saying, it's a fun set of factors to juggle. Problem is, that juggling act turns into a slog, just so the game can deliver a bad punchline. Power World really isn't really asking, what if Pokemon had guns? Power World is asking, what if you could mangle Pokemon beneath the inevitable crushing weight of industry? It's not tongue in cheek. It's mid-2000 Newgrounds Edgelord. Ooh, Edgelord. Yeah, I got news for you. People enjoy going around and killing the, the pals and, and putting them to work and, and putting them in, in breeding factories and making them uh, do certain tasks and all these things. People enjoy this. I mean, it's not much different than a lot of other games. And honestly, if you have an issue with this sort of stuff, maybe this game just isn't for you. But uh, here's some more. They go on saying, The crafting and survival in Pal World is only interesting when it's driving me to make decisions on how I deploy my pals, the things we just mentioned. But instead of doubling down on what sets it apart, Pal World draws out its progression just so I can terrorize my pals for a shortcut. Maybe that's funny for somebody. I don't know, man. I aged out of shock humor a decade or two ago. Look how mature I am, ladies and gentlemen. Me, an adult who writes reviews for a video game, is clearly much more mature than the enjoyers of games like Pal World. But this chaotic nature of dealing with the pals and how you incorporate them and how you use them for your own benefit in-game is actually something a lot of people are enjoying. There's the multi-stages of this game. You can enjoy the multiplayer, you can enjoy the open world aspects, the PAL aspects, or how you deploy them, the building aspects of this game. And there's little things like this, you know, if it, some PALs fit the, the mold of what you're doing, some don't. Like, this one right here is a hard-working PAL. And some people have pointed out, you know, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Like, this PAL, you know, has a aggressive, mating desire and is a threat to a lot of pals and humans but damn it it's a hard worker and you got to make sacrifices sometimes if you want results on your on your building okay but in all seriousness this whole situation with pal world has been quite interesting to see the hysteria from some people it comes from a valid place but i think people are grasping at straws and trying to find a reason to hate this recently popular game. And right now, a lot of people are enjoying it. Will this game survive the initial hype and then possible drop off? Who knows? But right now, this game is selling like crazy on levels we really haven't seen from independent titles ever. And uh, where it lands will be very, very interesting. But for now, a lot of people are enjoying it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video covering it. Uh, please share all of your thoughts about the topics we covered today. And I'll see you guys next time.